Hey guys, I'm Joel, and this is Crypto Tech Solutions. All right, welcome to the launch of Crypto Tech Solutions. What is Crypto Tech Solutions? I'm glad you asked. Crypto Tech Solutions is my attempt to encourage the use of digital privacy tools and cryptocurrencies by ordinary, everyday people and not just techies. Now, I'm going to do this in three ways. First, I'm in the process of creating step-by-step -step tutorials and product reviews for some of the best tools out there. Second, I'm going to be podcasting interviews with developers and activists in the digital privacy and cryptocurrency arenas. And then third, hopefully I'm going to be blogging about current events. Uh, we'll see how far I can keep up on that. And of course, you're going to be able to find me on all the major platforms, YouTube, iTunes, Facebook, Twitter, but all of my content will be aggregated at my site, which is www.cryptotech.solutions. Just as soon as it's finished, that is. Any day now. So. Why should you care about digital privacy? Well, if you own a computer, a smartphone, or just use the internet, and I'm pretty sure that covers everyone in this audience, then digital privacy and security skills are a must have. Unfortunately, most of us don't know anything about it, and it seems like such a daunting task to learn that we'd rather just kind of stick our head, at, we'd rather just stick our head in the sand and hope that nothing bad happens. But all you have to do is look at the headlines today and see what a leak of personal sensitive information can do and just how big of an impact it can have. But what you may not have been aware of is that government agencies all over the world, especially the US's own national security agency, have been collecting all of our digital information our cell phone calls, our text messages, our emails, our internet traffic. They're collecting this information about all of us all the time, everywhere. And what's worse, they've been forcing the technology companies that we all trust to help them. And what's worse still is that they actually have programs to actively insert flaws and back doors into the tools and the basic cryptography that we all rely on to protect ourselves from hackers, you know, just the ordinary everyday hackers that want to steal your money, not the kind that want to lock you up in jail, and uh, the tools and the cryptography needed just to have a safe and working internet. I know that this all sounds like some kind of tinfoil hat craze conspiracy theory stuff, but in 2013, Ed Snowden gave us hardcore stone cold proof that this was all happening. And since then, a federal court and two presidential commissions have concluded that the programs violated the US laws and they recommended significant reforms. And while a handful of those reforms have been implemented, the programs continue largely unchanged. It is a sad but true fact of history that human beings are routinely terrible to one another and are capable of some truly horrific things because of some arbitrary difference between their groups. Sometimes it's skin color, sometimes it's religion, sometimes it's because you love the wrong person, and sometimes it's because you have the wrong political beliefs. But it always starts with surveillance. Neighbors spying on each other out of fear or greed. Government agencies watching everyone, investigating everyone to determine who's a deviant, who's an enemy of the state. You can't expect the political process to save us. Why would we just sit back and let ourselves be watched if we have the technological means to protect ourselves and others? Everyone has an inherent right to privacy, a right to live their lives as they see fit and to be left alone. And you can't live freely if you're constantly being watched. Hopefully by now, I've convinced you that you should care about digital privacy, but what are you gonna do about it? If digital privacy and cryptocurrencies sound interesting to you, then tell your friends about us. Like us on Facebook, 
follow us on Twitter at Cryptech Solutions, and even consider supporting the show. You can show support in a number of ways. We've started a small Amazon store where we sell digital privacy related gear and books. And if you go to Amazon through the link on our website, Amazon will give the show a referral fee without costing you anything extra. And of course, you should check out our sponsors. Today's sponsors are Proton Mail. Proton Mail is one of my absolute favorite services on the internet. They don't scan your emails for advertisers like Gmail, and they can't be hacked like Yahoo. How do I know this? Because Proton Mail is end to end encrypted, so that at no time are the contents of your email ever exposed. Only you hold the encryption key. So Proton Mail couldn't read your email even if they wanted to. Not only that, but their code is completely open source and is routinely audited by the world's best privacy and security experts. No personal information is required to set up an account, and if you pay for a premium account, you can actually get five or more alias email addresses to use in different situations, or have your very own custom email domain ending. I personally subscribe to their Proton Mail Plus service, which is a five euros per month or $5.30 US. It's great, easy to use, and I feel good knowing that I'm supporting a solid company that actually protects my privacy. I could never go back to using an insecure email service again. NordVPN. Shopping for a VPN service is hard, even if you're a technical whiz. There are a lot of VPNs out there that are fly-by-night scams. A lot of them don't really know what they're doing about encryption, and some of them are actually tracking you and selling your information rather than protecting you. Not so with NordVPN. NordVPN is listed on privacytool.io's trusted VPN services and ranks very high on that Privacy Guy's VPN rating database. They have the very latest encryption. They offer loads of services like double hop VPN connections where you're actually bounced through two different servers to help improve your privacy. And they never log any web traffic. And you can pay with Bitcoin. So you don't have to give them any personal information when you're setting up an account. I have personally used NordVPN for a while now and I can attest to how fast the internet connection is and how easy it is to use. So, where are you going to get all this Bitcoin you need to buy services on the internet without having to give up your personal information? You're going to connect your bank account to some exchange with all kinds of KYC or know your customer regulations? I don't think so. Paxful's got you covered. Paxful has over 300 ways to buy Bitcoin instantly online. Some are more convenient but less private, like using PayPal or a debit card, and some are completely anonymous like dropping off cash at Western Union. You can even buy Bitcoin with an old gift card. So dig out that Amazon gift card that Aunt Edna got you that's been sitting in the back of your sock drawer since your birthday and click on the link below to join the future of digital money. One last thing before we go. Thank you to my lovely wife, Stacy, who helped me produce this and all my videos. You can find her services at lifeandcolorphotography.com.